YouTube, welcome back to your brand new video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe as well as check out our other videos. But uh, yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make an anime style game UI, just like this right here. So this is going to be one part. Obviously, this is a uh, anime fighters UI. This is just the HUD, the side buttons. Yeah, we're gonna start simple. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. So I have this reference, um, just to make things easier for us, I'm going to enlarge that and use this for my background. So start off, let's do the easy parts uh, first with these circles. So over here, you want to hit new layer, which is this button right here. As you can see, create a new layer. And now you want to go to your lip tool right here. And up here, you want to make sure your fill color is on black and your stroke is off so uh, click the first box right here to make sure it's off and now all we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the anywhere on the screen you're going to click and hold all right so I'm holding down my left mouse button now you're going to hold shift and all on your keyboard once you have all these held down now you just want to drag out and you can see a circle shape you can let go when you're satisfied just like that. Alright YouTube, so before this video starts, just a little message for you guys. Uh, don't forget to check out our store. As you can see here, we have free UI templates and uh, and also graphics packs you could use to learn from. And feel free to use the UI in your game. Uh, we have paid products here as well. Uh, we don't have too many products right now. In the future, the plan is to have hundreds and even thousands of products you could purchase and shop from. And that also means a ton more free stuff. If you could do us a favor, just check out our store right now. And also, as far as videos and the YouTube goes, since I'm going to be uploading daily, you can expect a large variety of content, uh, tutorials, and a ton of, you know, other stuff. So if today's video does not really interest you, just stay tuned for the next one. And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Make sure you leave a like, join our Discord, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, now you want to hit Control, Shift, and H for horse on your keyboard. This will get rid of this blue outline that you see right here. And now what we could do is you could go back to your move tool right here. The shortcut is V. So if you hit V, we have our move tool. All right. So that is the simple part. Uh, I want to make it a bit more interesting than these ones, so I'm going to double click right here. I'm gonna make this like a dark gray so it's not completely black. Something like that. I'm just gonna hit OK. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm gonna right click and hit create clipping mask. This will clip this layer into the sphere. And now if we take our brush tool right here click on this arrow make sure your hardness is at 0% opacity somewhere around 40 50 and flow I have it down to 25 or so so uh, now change your color to white and you can increase the size and if you just click anywhere this will make a nice little gradient like that you can lower the opacity as well all right now we're gonna take the ellipse right here as you can see you're going to hold ALT on your keyboard and you're going to drag this layer above the layer 2 once you let go this will make a copy for you alright as you can see now you're going to want to hit Control T on your keyboard now go back to your ellipse tool click here go to fill you want to turn fill off now so hit this line the first box now you want to turn show on so click this box hit the black box right here and now as you can see we have a stroke we're gonna hit control T on the keyboard to bring out freeze transform we're gonna hold shift and alt and drag on one of these corners and now as you can see we have uh, a stroke go back to your ellipse tool you can change the uh, radius as well as the color go back to black and now as you can see we have a very neat button like this which I think is uh, pretty cool you want to have the slayer selected right here and you want to hold shift click on ellipse 1 
and you want to hit control G on your keyboard to make a group. So we have this button inside of a group. And now if you hit control J on your keyboard to make a copy, we can move this aside. You hit, now you can hit control T, hold alt and drag this down. As you guys can see, scale this down. And uh, the stroke will automatically change, will adjust its width. So you have to manually change it yourself, but uh, that should be fine. So we have these buttons right here. Let's move this to the side. I know it is too big right now, but we're going to adjust these later. Uh, so yeah, you can just copy and paste these. All right, so I have successfully added all these icons and now I'm just gonna group these all up. I'm gonna make a copy, Control J. And I'm just going to resize these so they look more like actual buttons right here. Okay, this is fine. Now for the main part, the currency holder right here, I'm going to show you guys how to make this. So we're going to start with a new layer. We're going to go over here, we're going to click and hold, go to our rounded rectangle tool. As you can see, uh, the radius, I want to say 15 should work. You want your fill to be on and stroke is off. And now we're just going to drag a shape out like this. If we double click. I'm going to click on the yellow color. Now you want to hit Control T on your keyboard. We're going to right click and we're going to hit Skew. And just drag these uh, corners like that. As you can see. Now you want to make a copy underneath. So hold Alt. Drag this layer below. And we're just going to move this. We're gonna double click and we're gonna click on the black just like that if you want you could skew move this up uh looks nice so now to make this little pattern it's actually really easy you want to make a new layer go back to your ellipse tool make sure your color is on black and we're just gonna make some circles like this okay here's one Two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna take these, control G to make a group. Now I'm just gonna take four, make a copy, move these right here into the middle, as you guys can see. And now we can just take these and, and copy them. That's now I'm just going to take all of these, Control G, Control J, Control E to flatten. We'll take our eraser tool right here. Hardness is down, opacity 60, flow 40. And you can just brush off from the top like that. And you want to make sure this is above the yellow layer. And you want to right click, go create clip mask. Control T to resize and we'll just place this right here. So there we go. And and now you can add some text. Instead of that little icon, I'm just gonna put the dollar sign right here. And you put your number as well. And you can also take one on one of these uh, buttons right here and just add a little plus sign just like that. And uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That is how you can make this part of the Anime Fighters UI. Uh, if this video helps you, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, um, check out our store We have free products templates as well as paid products if you want to buy some uh, I would really appreciate if you guys can check us out and uh, Also join our discord server. We are very close to 5k members. So go ahead and check that out as well With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for the next video and we'll see you guys next time